آله وصحبه أجمعين نوين الأربعين نوين الاعتكاف نوين الخلوة نوين العزلة نوين الرياضة نوين السلوك نوين الصيام لله تعالى العظيم في هذا المسجد نوين ختم الخواجكان المولد إلهي أنت مقصودي ورضاك مطلوبي May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us to be muhaqqiqeen lihada yani to, to reach the certainty of this saying in Naqshbandi Tariqa it is the, the banner of the, the Tariqa is Ilahi anta maqsudi wa ridaqa matlubi my lord you are my goal Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and your pleasure is what I seek and that is what, why we come to Mashayikh and why we come to Tariqa and why we come to, why we do the Dhikr why we do the Mawalid it is to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reach uh, to the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be mardiyin عنده uh, that's, that is, uh, that is the goal and what they teach you in Tariqa is to be muaddab. In Tariqa is to reach to be Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad, to be a person of good manners, adab. Imam al Junaid used to say, A Tariqa to kulluha adab. Tariqa is all about adab and good manners. Because you as a human being, you come. You don't know, you forget where you come from, first of all. You come into this world and the per- parents instill in you if So your parents will instill in you whatever they have, whatever they know of uh, beliefs or manners or uh, behavior or whatever it is they they but you will insan al fitra hadith in Nabi Sawasa that a person is born like a clean slate innocent and then the parents and the society and starts to write on that slate. So we're just discussing now Allahumma Sallallahu Alaihi Sayyidina Muhammad that this is difficult time for uh, because for human beings now born in this time the, the, the least thing that is given importance is manners and adab you know they teach you how to be a great uh, physical uh, have a very nice physical body they teach you to be uh, um, a professor and uh, uh, to drive devices and so forth. They teach you all kinds of things. They teach you except manners, everything. Manners, now we live in the age of no manners, zero manners. Not only zero manners, upside down manners the values what used to be called uh, something nice we used to have for example modesty throughout history modesty was something to was a virtue people are modest people are shy it's it used to be a virtue now modesty is looked down at no 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 express yourself Show your beauty. That's that's how they sell it to people. Um, what do you say? Follow your dreams. Do as you like. Don't let anybody. No values. Uh, modesty, greed. Greed was looked down uh, upon. To hoard. To collect and gather. Now, millionaires, I say, have 25 billion, 250 billion, one person. And everybody is like, oh, Elon Musk, he's a, he's a genius. 
What genius? Poor guy. If he knows what, what he's got, what if he knows he has to account for these two hundred and fifty billion, I think he would run away from it. Twenty-five billion, Jeff Bezos. These poor people, they don't know that when when they go to the other side, <laughs> they have to account for this. So when you look at things from only the lens of materialism, oh, they steal whatever, they become millionaire, everybody respects them and invites them and uh, uh, puts them at the head of the table because they only respect what their bank account has. How they achieved it, no one cares. This is the age of the destruction of good manners and values. Uh, before, uh, that's why the mashayikh, they say that Prophet Sallallahu what did he say? Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. He say, Islam, hadith, hadith Sayyidina Jibreel, Islam, Iman, Ihsan. Islam, belief, that's, that's the, the discipline you put on your physical being. It's all about doing, fasting, uh, praying, hajj, things you put on your physical being. Then iman is the state of your heart. What's in it? And to min billahi wa malaikati wa kutubi wa rasuli wa bilam al akhir wa qadar khairi wa sharri min Allah qabul ya Allah. Is the second one is all the matters pertaining to the state of your heart. All matters of unseen. Allah believe in Allah. Angels. These are matters that are not for the mind and the physical being only. This is the matter for the for your heart. And the final one is Ihsan and Ta'wul Allah Tara Fa'ilam Takun Tara Fa'inahu Yarak. It is this this is the suluk. This is the way how and ta'wul Allah ka'annaka to worship Allah as if you are seeing him. How if if Allah is seeing you at all if you're seeing Allah, which which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, cannot be seen. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ لَا تُدْرِكُهُ الْأَبْصَارِ Sights cannot contain him. But Prophet sallallahu is alluding to us that if you're not able to see him, to know that he sees you. What is that? That's the suluk. That is the state of moral excellence, the ihsan. That is the how, the adab, that your, your ibadah, your, your Islam with iman, the fruits is the good manners, the moral excellence from that, is how. You're concerned with the how, not just with, I'm, I'm praying, the, the faqih, alaykum salam wa the person who, who is just concerned with the, with the first stage, he is, okay, I just stood up and I prayed and I made my, my ibadah. I did four rakahs, four rakahs. I did the ruku' the sujood, I did all the arkan, I did the niyyah, oh, alhamdulillah. The outer shell, but when the ihsan, state of ihsan is, the, their concern is has it been accepted is this pleasing for Allah I prayed but is it is Allah happy with my prayer is he accepting my prayer that is the different levels so you have to uh, التخلق بالأداب الحميدة is to reach a point where you are you instill in yourself the good manners in every way and the perfect example of this is Sayyidina Muhammad His, he is the mold the role model for every good manner you, you read anything about about his dealing with with from dealing with people to dealing with enemies to dealing with uh, wives to his his behavior even with the animals 
Salawat Rabbi wa salamu alayhi. Even with the animals, even with the inanimate objects, his manners, even with things that are we, we deem as not living, you see the perfection. Yeah, and a simple, simple example is when someone spoke to him, if, uh, if he's, Sheikh Sami here spoke to me, Prophet I would go, Sami, like, I would turn. Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu would turn to the person with his whole body. He would give him his full attention. The perfection of well, good manners. They say when people sat in his presence, everyone will feel as if Prophet was speaking to them only. Jabrul Khawatir. Now in our busy times, you see, you know, somebody, especially famous people uh, coming, um, you see bodyguards and people pushing and uh, no, no, they don't allow people to come close. Prophet Sallallahu a, a slave girl w would stop him in the market and Take, uh, take him by the he, he and ask him for his her uh, need, and he would leave his companions and stand there with her. And in in the seerah they say she was a little bit off, and she kept him there standing on the road, and he kept talking to her, and 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 <coughs> didn't yadzar uh, he didn't like I have people with me. Why? He never wanted to break anybody's heart. In the gathering, people will do something wrong. And he's looking at them and he knows who did it. But he would say, Ma balu aqwamin? He would say, How come some people would do this? And how come some people would do that? Not to break anybody's feelings, hurt anybody's feelings or heart. Perfection. That is maqam al ihsan. Prophet ﷺ is the perfection of the maqam of Ihsan. And that is what the tariqah is concerned with. It's not just about worshipping and doing without reaching uh, adab. And, you know, the, the mashayikh said, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad, Sayyidina Abu Hafs, Junaid Sayyidi Abu Hafs al-Haddad, radiya Allah anhu, he said, At-tasawufu kulluhu adab, likulli waqtin adab, wa likulli mahallin adab. He says, every time has its own manners, requirements, and every place. فَإِذَا كَانَ الْفَقِيرُ مُتَحَلِّيًا بِحِلْيَةِ الْأَدَابِ الْمَرْضِيَةِ فَإِنَّهُ يَصْلُحُ لِسُلُوكِ طَرِيقِ الصُّفِيَةِ He said, if the murid, the darwish, the, has those manners, good manners, then he is fitting for the tariq to... He is fitting for the shaykh to accept him and to start walking towards Ilahi anta maqsoodi wa ridaqa mithluwi My Lord, you are my goal and your pleasure is what I seek. And he said, but wa illa fa'idha baqiya al-faqeer if the, if the murid stays in the circle of the uh, ill manners know that his belief is weak and his manners are bad which will يوجب الانتقاد وجزاء الفقير إذا أساء الأدب أن يطرده الله and the, the punishment for ill manners is to be kicked out you know, we as parents here, uh, we put our kids' time out say, when they have uh, ill manners. Similarly, in in tariqah, in spiritual, if you if you insist and continue to have bad manners in tariqah, eventually you will be thrown out. Yutrad. أن يطرده الله عن صحبة أهل الجادة المرضية. How you get thrown out? 
is you will be thrown out from the company of the true people. Yani Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will veil them from you or make you sit with people who are not really good and sincere ones and you won't be able to be with these people. وَقَدْ قِيلْ مَنْ أَسَاءَ الْأَرَبُ بِالْحَضْرَةِ رُدَّ إِلَى الْبَابِ and it is said that whoever is in the hadra means the presence of uh, Allah and His Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who has bad manners in that presence, he will be thrown back to the door of that presence. وَمَنْ أَسَاءَ الْأَدَبِ بِالْبَابِ رُدَّ إِلَى سِرْجِ الْدَوَابِ and if you are standing at the door and still show bad manners, you will be thrown to the stable of animals. وهذا الوصف يا فقير قد رأيناه وسمعناه ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. So the adab is most important because at the end of the day we are all in this world for a small time but all of us will be one day in Allah's presence all of us will stand in his presence to be judged all of us we will be in that magnificent presence of our Lord and if we don't have good manners leaving this dunya and we go into the grave with our bad manners and go into akhirah with our bad manners we will be in a very difficult uh, situation uh, Mawlana Jalaluddin Rumi used to say take care of your dogs train your dogs in dunya because in the grave they will be lions they will eat you meaning your bad manners, your dog is your ego. You have, to, you have to take care of it in dunya. You have to reach a state where you overcome your, uh, your egoistic and materialistic attachments and egoistic bad manners. And you have to overcome this in dunya because if you take them with you into the grave, they will be much more powerful because there's in Alam al-Barzakh the limits of physicality are not there and we all know from uh, some of the hadith that a person may find huge snakes wrapping themselves uh, on him or may Allah Allah what, what Sayyidina Jalal al-Din Rumi is saying is that don't wait until you leave dunya before you take care of your ill manners. And that's what tariqah is. Tariqah is training so that when we pray Salat al-Najat in the morning, we make sajda. Afterwards, one of the Salat, one of the, the awrad, part of the awrad of the murid in the Naqshbandi Tariqah, uh, Allah, uh, we, we make dua, we make sajda after the prayer, oh Allah save me from, take away my bad manners and, and put, instill in me good manners. Um, bad manners such as what? Jealousy, greed, envy, anger, we all know ourselves. You don't want to leave dunya with anger. Go in the grave with a heart full of anger. You don't want to be a greedy person leaving dunya. Leaving dunya with full attachment to things that you can't take with you. This is all suffering. Prophet Wasallam is coming to show us the way for us to relieve ourselves and pay attention to what is important. So the tariqah is, that's why they say tariq is, all of it is about adab. 
All of it is about Adab. And exemplified by who? By Sayyid Al-Adab Al-Kamil. Sallallahu Rabbi wa sallam He is exemplified, he is the example of all perfect manners. Sallallahu Rabbi wa sallam You want to know what's the perfection? What manners? Follow his way. That's why the Sunnah of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi is prime. Is most important because when you follow, in, you're following every good manners. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us good manners. Alhamdulillah, we came to, we, we spent time in one who is dressed with those prophetic manners recently with Mawlana Shaykh Muhammad Adil. Qaddas Allah Sirru Al Aziz. Please come. Please come here. If if you're uh, if you like to sit on the chair, Bismillah as well, huh? As you like. Yeah. Oh, we just came from a visit to Maulana Sheikh, and that's why also we go to Sheikhs, because uh, human beings we have to see an example, we have to see a role model. So, you know, I can talk to you about good manners, but when you meet somebody, when you're sitting in the suhba of somebody who's dressed and exemplifies those manners, then you understand. You are seeing a, a, you are seeing a, a live example of that. And in his suhba, also that state, if you spend time with them, his state becomes your state as well. That's why it's not just about learning with suhbah of awliya and uh, is the importance is to, to try your best to sit in their presence with good manners and then they're eventually that's their states. First, they'll teach you. They'll, they'll give you something to, to learn but also What's happening to your heart is that it's synchronized with with their their state is synchronized with your state. If you come to them with good manners, then you will start to not not just to understand by mind, but to see and taste the meaning of those states. To actually live it, to have zawq. And so uh, Mawlana Sheikh Muhammad, mashallah, he's presence is Sajib, you know, he's never busy with anything except except use, useful, beneficial things either to uh, his household or to the murids or teaching or he's always he's always in service and he never says anything that is not only not unnecessary and he's, if you sit with him, he only speak what is necessary. What is necessary for teaching, what is necessary for making somebody feel at ease, what is necessary for... But he will never say anything more than that. Uh, very sweet, very soft, very welcoming, smiley. Uh, you sit uh, in their presence and, and you feel, uh, mashallah, you feel... Uh, you feel you're in the presence of a holy presence. And that's the state of awliya. That's why suhba is important. Because you want to you want to experience. Not just read in a book, but you want to experience that state. You want to taste it. You want to be in the presence. And if you come to them with good manners, you will feel that. Whatever fayd, whatever barakah, you will feel it in your heart as well. And you will know it in a way that's not necessary, has to do anything with with logic or ra rational or you will just you will just know it. Um, so uh, Alhamdulillah, inshallah, Mawlana is planning to come here uh, in May, he said. We are uh, inshallah looking forward to his trip. And may, inshallah, all of you can meet him and be in his presence. And we hope to also 
uh, invite people to as many people as we can to uh, to sit in that presence and uh, awliya nowadays it's it's a rare thing to be in the company of awliya may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us good manners to be with people of good manners take away our bad manners and uh, ومن الله التوفيق بحرمة الحبيب بحرمة الفاتحة